So Big D, you got a question for me? What's next? Oh wait, no, not that. <laughs> um, so at home, I'm working on an octagonal project. It's a fun word. Mm -hmm. and I need to cut repeatable 22 and a half degree cuts. Okay, good. What's you know the, the best, degree, right? right? I'm learning a little bit. What's the best way to set this up? To okay, a repeatable cut. It, it's really easy. It's all about layout. Mm -hmm. But I just got a new tool to show you how to do layout on Maja pieces. Absolutely perfect. So awesome. stay tuned. Okay, remember I said layout's everything. Yes, sir. And I've been eyeballing this angle square for a while from Bridge City Toolworks. And I just got one. And you're gonna notice it's a variable angle. The one thing you will always notice if you get something from Bridge City is the packaging is phenomenal. Okay, but I'm just gonna see this hole right here. I'll probably just use that hanging on the wall behind us. Okay. okay. Cause I want quick access to it. But it ships really nice in that Yeah, package. it does. Okay, so the first thing we can do with this, it's a, it's a very accurate square. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta check what? 90. You gotta check to see if you're what? Square. It's just square, square. Okay, he got it, <laughs> finally. Okay, so this is, and I was blown away. I already have done, messed with this a little bit. But boy, I've wanted one of these for years. Check it out, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna make my mark here. So, you know, let me get in here. I'm gonna make my mark like this, okay? I'm gonna bring it all the way out. Then I'm going to bring it over here to this side. And this is, I believe, the ultimate T-square. So I'm going to bring that right in, like this. Make sure it's right up against the board. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it right in right here. And I make my mark. And I'm going to watch. And look how that did not diverge at all. It is super duper accurate. That's awesome. Okay, now. The other thing, so this will help you lay out, say you, you're laying out a bookcase and you want to do all your your marks for your dados, even making story sticks, it's perfect, especially on wider boards. So it's the ultimate, if you ask me, T-square, because everything registers up against here. Nice. Now, the other thing that's really nice about it, it's, it's an angle layout tool. So you notice this cam right here. Yep. All right, I'm going to lift it up. And you're going to notice how that swivels. Oh, nice. So if you have a particular angle, and I'll show you how to grab a particular angle, I can lock it like this. And now I can grab that 22 and a half and do all my layout on my boards. Oh, that's awesome. But let me show you how I set up this angle to get it dead on. And my, like my buddy Sonny always told me, the longer you can take out that layout line, the more accurate. So that after that, you can lay out your track to use your uh, track saw to get a perfect cut on those wider boards. Awesome. So let me show you how I set that up. Sounds good. Okay, so first of all, this is wicked awesome. <laughs> Second of all, how do I set it to 22 and a half? <laughs> it's funny how he's starting to say wicked, eh? <laughs> okay. Oh God, we've been doing this for a while. Um, I, you know what, we, I taught you about a sliding bevel, right? Yes, sir. This is uh, my angle unit here that I have, I've had for years. I know that's an eight sided, piece so I know it's every 22 and a half degrees this is an easy way to do it I could slip it over on this side and find 22 and a half but I'm just gonna take it like this with my sliding bevel I bring it right in and I lock my bevel in so it's absolutely perfect and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it right over here and I'm gonna make my Mac like this then what I'll do is now this is my reference Mac so it's fairly long I could take this like this and I'll just slide it like this I'll open it up and I'll bring this making sure that that black pot is right there and I'll slide it right to my angle just like this and get that very precise 22 and a half like this and this is so nice and so easy I can lock that cam from underneath you know what? I can't believe I waited this long to get one of these squares because this makes this layout so easy. So you just have to determine now how small you want this unit in here. Okay. Okay, your distance here. So I'll just use this as my center line and we need to know this dimension here. So I'll double it. So if this reads 150, where's my Mac? 300. 300. So I'll make, make my mark at 300 here. I'll take my layout square here. See it? And I'll bring it right in and I'll lay this out. Then I'll take this Bridge City. 
adjustable square just like this and for everybody who is looking at this video we'll have a link and look how easy that is just link it up like this and I'll bring it in bring my pencil mark just like this all the way out look how nice that is that's awesome so big day what's your dimension from here to here about 12 inches okay so let's say 300 millimeter I this is available in either metric or imperial okay. of course I'm going to pick metric but I also got one of these and this is a cursor okay and you can see two magnets what? okay and you see that line let's just bring it up here to 300 you got that Chris mm-hmm so it's really nice about this and I'm back to using the right angle portion of this let me grab a pencil look how nice this is watch out big D All right. I'm gonna take it just like this I think this is the ultimate layout tool because look how I can just take that along my board and bring it right on in that's okay. awesome the other thing I want to point out about this which is really nice the dimension the fence it sits perfectly on top of three-quarter material it's only five millimeters thick you have a large bearing surface all the way across so it's absolutely perfect you can actually set that on half inch material or 12 millimeter material and I think it's a perfect layout uh, t-square but the key to it is now the adjustability for angles and layout with that as well that's, that's awesome pretty cool the adjustable square is separate. The cursor, you can get metric and imperial, and that is separate. So I just wanted to cover that with you today. Um, I think it's a great addition to anybody's layout. And I've, I have back here quite a few T-squares. Yes, and I am really <laughs> anxious to use this in my shop. So as we always say, be positive and stay sharp.